Hi there, Scott Irvin here, owner of the Scott Irvin team. Thank you for visiting my video blog. In today's video segment, I'm going to talk about the five expenses that shock most first time home buyers. The first expense is closing costs. When you first meet with your real estate agent and you're looking at different homes, when you pick a home, they're going to give you what's called an estimate of closing costs. On that estimate, it's going to break down what money you need to bring to the uh, closing uh, compared to what the mortgage company is going to be giving you with your loan. So it'll give you the difference there. And that's going to include things such as your escrows, uh, tax escrows. It's going to include things such as your reimbursement of real estate taxes to the seller. It's going to include your title insurance, fees like notary fees, recording of your mortgage and your deed in the county. So that's going to break that down for you. The second cost that people, or first time home buyers don't think about is uh, maintenance on the home. And maintenance on the home can vary depending on the home, but it's about one to 2% per year. So a lot of first time home buyers don't take this into account. And that's gonna cover things such as, you know, maybe cleaning gutters, doing lawn work, uh, landscaping, uh, normal wear and tear on the house as far as home maintenance and having things serviced. Um, and you're gonna run into these costs throughout the year, so you wanna budget for those. And that's gonna to vary too, depending on whether you live in a single home, a townhouse, or a condo. Obviously that cost is gonna be reduced if you live in a townhouse or a condo, because you're gonna have a homeowners association, which you're gonna pay monthly fees to them, and some of that's gonna be covered by them. The next cost is your utilities. The national average for utilities is approximately $3,000 per year. So again, you're gonna to want, want to budget for that and make sure that you're looking into that. And if you wanna get an idea of your utility cost, you can always ask the, uh, your agent to, to get the information from the seller, what their estimate or their average cost were over the past maybe six months or a year. The next cost is obviously going to be your taxes, which are going to be escrowed into um, your mortgage. So that'll be on a monthly basis. You'll be budgeting for that. And the last is your homeowner's insurance. And homeowner's insurance average is about $1,100 per year. And again, that's a national average, so it depends on the size of your home. And that's going to vary depending on, on that. But you want to make sure too, when you get homeowner's insurance, you check with your uh, real or uh, insurance agent regarding the coverage that you have. You want to make sure you're covered for all the events that you might anticipate. And one of those things is such a sewer backup. A lot of homeowners insurance policies in our area does not cover that. So you want to make sure that's in that policy. I hope you find this video blog was useful to you. And if you need any uh, help or would like uh, or have any additional questions, please give us a call at 215-918-1920 or email us at scott at scotturban.com. Thank you for visiting our video blog and uh, we look forward to hearing from you real soon.